guys keep wearing Gap shirts, you guys. I told you. It wasn't even a commercial for the Gap. That was a audition for the um, talent agency. And I wasn't even there for acting because they only did commercial shit. I, I'm probably the worst person to hire for commercials because it makes me uncomfortable. I'm really bad. I'm terrible with commercials because I'm like, not real. Like, I can sort of hack the indie stuff a little bit. You know, I'm a real actor. But, but commercials, I'm like, but, uh, what? <laughs> what? I'm not that excited about a product, but like, be excited about it. <laughs> no, it's awkward. What? Um. So that was just, then they said, I was like, oh, I'm just here to get like modeling gigs. I said, well, why don't you do a reading first? I was like, I really don't want to. And like, why don't you just do it and we'll put it on paper just in case. And I was like, okay. And so they hand me that graphs group. So I decided, because I already said no, and they were like insisting, I already intentionally fuck it up, which is why I'm like, <laughs> do you have dreams? I know I do. <laughs> no, I just do a really awful job. I'm like, fall into the gap. Because I'm intentionally trying to fuck it up. So I don't know why you're wearing these shirts. Of me rejecting it. I told you. And they actually did want me for the talent agency. And I was like, I don't know. Someone said you were the devil. <laughs> Go with no. And she's like, oh, you're such a serious actor. I'm like, not really. I was really just there because I was poor. Um, Hollywood just gives you money if you do acting gigs. I was like, okay. That sounds pretty cool. I'm not an actor, you guys. Just a pedestrian who happen to live in LA and need money. That's, that's end of story.